You know, black men in this country always have this position that people think they can just tell us what to do. They can tell us what to think. They can abuse us or whatever, right? That we can't think for ourselves. We can't do our own thing. We, we shouldn't have the lead in our community. Everybody feel like they should be telling black men what to do in case of point this election. Now, after the election and everything still going on, they start tallying up the demographics and the numbers and how people were voting. And they noticed that there was an increase of support for Donald Trump, this election from black men and also black women. And we're going to look at those numbers, but we have a lot of the shields that is coming out attacking black men and trying to call black men, basically the devil for voting for Donald Trump. Didn't know why they voted for them at all. Didn't ask any questions from any voters who are black men for Donald Trump. Didn't get no, none, nothing at all to try to come up with a hypothesis. Why? Even though I know a lot of reasons why, but they didn't decide that they just felt that that's go ahead and start attacking black men and shaming black men. And I'm going to tell you this, and I know you're watching. That's not working. You attacking black men and shaming black men. It's not working because black men are tired of your crap. Let's the, before we get into the numbers, let's talk about something. When the presidential candidates were running, let's talk about when they're individually running, when Kamala was running and when Joe Biden was running. Did they actually reach out to black men, any one of them, and actually had a conversation with us about things that's concerning black men in America? No, they did not. Black men did not like Kamala Harris at all for her record, for how she done people in California. A lot of brothers felt that way about her from the gate. Okay. Joe Biden didn't like a lot of brothers did not like him in a lot of ways because of what he's, he's done in the past of the crime bill and he would not, you know, apologize or reach out to have any plans for the brothers. They come out and they will say, you know, they try to say black women are the backbone of the party, but they're not going to do nothing really for black women either. But it, it, you know, it's that divide and conquer crap. They usually go on, on those, you know, Democrats, right? So a lot of black men, you don't reach out to them. You don't t visit with their concerns or anything. You have a few different types of black men. There are some black men that say, well, shoot, you don't reach out to me. I'm gonna have a protest vote. So I'm gonna vote for Trump in protest. Some black men don't like Joe Biden's plan of trying to raise taxes on people that's making 400,000 or more because these black men make more than that and they want their taxes to increase. You know, some black men are conservative. That's just the way they are. And, and be honest with you, um, the black community is actually very conservative. We just don't vote that way because they have too many white supremacists in the GOP. I mean, listen, black people wouldn't feel comfortable being in a party where the proud boys and, 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 and David Duke and Richard Spencer, like they, they had the convention with you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, most black folks wouldn't feel welcome in that kind of crowd. Now, if the Republican party would revamp themselves and, and, and disassociate themselves with hardcore white supremacists, um, and, and, and change their ways, maybe they probably would have more black people coming into that party. But we're going to look at who you should be talking to. We talking about this increased support of Trump. So we're going to look at right now, I got a, a, a slide, um, and, and brother Sharif can put this, you know, slide up this, uh, voting number one slide. If you look at this on the screen, it says race. Okay. So 58% of white people voted for Trump. 41% of white people voted for Biden. Okay. You need to have that conversation, not black men. Black people as a whole, 12% voted for Donald Trump, 
of black people voted for Joe Biden. Now we look to the right, this tweet I have here, and we're going to keep showing this tweet. Um, when we were talking about him, he said, especially for those moments when the campaign was at its lowest, the African American community stood up ag again for me. They always have my back and I have yours. Okay. So that's the black vote, the Hispanic vote. Look at that. 32% for Trump, 65% for Biden, the Asian vote, 34% for Trump, 61% for, for Biden. Now let's look at the next slide. The brother Sharif voting number two, you can put that one up. Now let's look at sex by race. So white men uh, voted 61% for Trump and 38% for Biden. White women voted 55%, actually more for Trump this time around and 44% of Biden. Now that's the conversation you need to be having. Not black men, that right there. Even though all the stuff that Trump has done, you know, with, with the George Floyd and he just the coronavirus, he just been so incompetent with coronavirus. You have over, you know, 200, I think 37,000 people dead. That's the conversation you need to have that they still behind him. Even after all of that, now black men, it's say 19%, but 79% voted overwhelmingly for Joe Biden. And once again, People can vote the way they want to vote. You don't own black people's vote or black men's votes. Black women, 9% of the of vote they did for Donald Trump. They actually, the, the vote increased um, from, from even black women. So they, they focused so much on black men when, because originally it was 13% and went up to 19%. Okay, black women voted about what? 4% last time for Trump and now it went up to 9%. But then I was talking about why those black men and women are, you know, feel like they don't want to fool with, with the Democrats and black women voted 90%, right? Now let's talk about something else. The Hispanic community, Hispanic men voted 36% for Trump, way more than black men and 59% for Biden. You have Hispanic women, 30% for Trump and black women voted 9% for him and 69% for Biden. Okay. If anybody should have a story, that should be the story because you got to think about it. Trump came out from the gate talking about Hispanic people, particularly Mexicans for sure. Now they also learned in this election that they can't put Latinos in all you know, one category because they all are different from where they come from. Well, that they do that to make it easy on themselves, classifying people, but it's the same thing with black people. You can't say that somebody from Ghana is the same as a black American. We, we don't have the same thoughts. Why would you see Nigerians doing some sort of pro rally or whatever they were doing uh, in Nigeria for Donald Trump? Do you, do you know most Africans are very, very conservative? They would not side with a Joe Biden type because they're, they don't have no pride parades in their countries. They, they don't have trends and all of that going on openly, I would say, in their countries. Abortion is not something that you, you just go run and do in their countries. So you see a party like the Democrats promoting that to an African, I say, oh, hell no. They'll go with Trump before they go with, with a Biden any day of the week. Just call it what it is. But you know, if you go to the continent, you'll see, you know, how conservative they are. Very, very conservative. And they dress and they do th how they do things all over the place. People in the Caribbean is different in their mindset than, than us here. So just as much as you shouldn't be grouping Hispanics, you shouldn't be grouping black people either. Cause we all think different. Now, if these other groups voted for Trump and, and you know what, that's their right at the same time, if they want to vote for Trump, it is a choice they can make just as much as the black men. If that's what they want to do, if black women want to vote for Trump, that's their business. You don't own nobody's votes. And the fact is Joe Biden and Kamala still haven't promised anything to black men in particular. They haven't. And if they want to be a one-term administration, 
They better get their act together real quick with black people and definitely black men as well. Cause why a lot of black men are saying, why should I be a part of a party that basically I've been voting for forever and all they do is neglect me and say like F y'all, you know, yeah, we got your votes, but F y'all, we don't care about y'all. Let's call it what it is. So a lot of brothers are saying, you know what? Hey, maybe I'll try the other party. Let's see, see what you're talking about. Now I know they're going to say, what else, what they going to do for you? Well, I mean, you had the votes for how long? How long you've had them? I mean, shoot, they're not in, in a worse position going to the other side. Okay, well, both of y'all ain't doing nothing for them. Well, at least they could maybe think they can get some headway somewhere else. I don't know. But you don't own the black male vote, and we're not going to sit here and let y'all lie on black men, act like black men is the only people that's out there voting for Trump when more white folks voted for Trump than anybody else. Then you had Maxine Waters coming out there and say she'll never forgive a, a black person and voted for Trump. Are you going to say that about these other people too? You're not going to forgive white uh, Trump voters? Why don't you say that? Are Hispanic Trump voters or Asian Trump voters? Why don't you say you don't forgive them? It doesn't make sense. But black men are, are demonized. I, I, don't, I don't support that whatsoever. The demonization of black men based off of who they chose in, in politics. If anything, the Democrat party should be looking and saying, man, we need to work hard to make sure to get these, these black men back. Because I'm telling you that the Republican number of black men, the way they going is going to increase even more. It wouldn't be surprised me next time be 25% uh, on the black men's side and maybe 12% or so for black women. Because what Joe Biden do in this administration now is definitely going to write that ticket. Because, you know, like I said, the Democrat party isn't really a party for, for black men, especially we talking about younger black men, older black men, they going to, they probably, they going to vote Democrat all day long, but we talking about younger black men. They, they, they don't see no inroads in that party. They don't, they don't, you ain't promoting brothers in that party whatsoever. You just, you just not really doing that. And they see that. So you can miss me. You can miss me with all that blaming black men for this and blaming black men for that. Y'all, everybody want to blame black men for all the problems of the world. Blame black men for, for climate change. Blame black men for Donald Trump. Blame black men for the coronavirus. Uh, you know, I'm paraphrasing, but shoot. Y'all blame black men for anything. <laughs> you know, it's like Paul Mooney, 1-800, you know, blame the N-word. That's exactly what, what, what they do. Everything is the black man's fault and black men are tired. Black men saying, you know, forget the shaming, forget talking down to black men and say, listen, they're saying if you're not going to do right by them, well, they're going to just do something else. Or they just, some of them have chosen not to vote either. And it's their right to, because you have to earn it. It's just not a guaranteed slam dunk for you. Oh, cause that other guy over there, he's racist. Like, so America's racist. It's, just, it's, it's just simple. Some people don't want to hear all that, that stuff that the Democrats got going on. They don't, they don't want, uh, uh, uh bathrooms with, 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 with trans people to be a priority when we, when we got gentrification happening in the black community. When we, when we having, you know, healthcare issues jobs, you know, there's so many different issues the black community have, and you guys want to make that a priority. I'm just saying that like, why you think they will go to the other side when you look at there's some priorities there that, that we need fixed, but you're not going to blame black men. No, 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 no. Until anytime y'all hear them trying to come about black men, why you did, why black men did this, why black. And then that other chick that said, Oh, they voted for Trump because they hate black women. It had nothing to do with no black women at all. You freaking liar. Why do you think it's about you? It's not about you. Anybody no hatred of no black women. The fact is, it's more so about Joe Biden, <laughs> if anything else. Like I say, you gonna put that, you go you gonna support the guy that locked up a lot of our family members, and some of our family members are still locked up now behind Joe Biden. Some people say, hell no, I'm not gonna do that. But leave me a comment, let me know what you think about the you know, situation with them blaming black men, even they looking over all these other groups. They voted for Trump. Look over them, but they're gonna single us out.
Thank you.